Kanji. So, as most of my viewers probably already know, kanji is a real pain in the butt. Kanji are those complicated Chinese characters that Japanese people use when they're writing like full words, names, or even sometimes function words, grammatical words. But there are some kanji that are used so often that are really, really complicated. <sighs> and then there are kanji that are really simple and easy, and they're used for words that aren't really used anymore or at all or rare. One example is the word kawaya, kawaya. Kawaya is a really old word uh, that means bathroom. No one uses it anymore. Um, it has kanji, and that kanji is really freaking simple. Now let's look at a word that's used kind of often <laughs> and has really complicated kanji. Kaigi, kaigi, kaigi means meeting, like a meeting, or even a convention, or even conference. The first kanji is really simple, it means to meet. The second kanji is the harder one. Now this word is seen often in maybe business settings or maybe at universities like mine. You know, I saw this all the time when I went on conferences, but it is gi, kaigi no gi, kaigi's gi is really hard to write because it has so many characters and you just like by the time you're done writing it just your hand is like ah <sighs> but I'm looking at some of these kanji are so simple and they're never used <laughs> it almost seems like a waste to me in, and actually in Japanese we have a word for this motai nai motai nai and for me it's really motai nai that you know easy words, words that are used often, or words that uh, foreigners understand because, you know, they have those words in their language, have such uh, complicated kanji, like, <laughs> you couldn't attach something simpler to it? I don't know, it seems like a, a just a waste to me that uh, simple kanji is used for old, unused meanings or words. And I'm not saying we should go out and reform all of kanji like China did. Uh, I'm not saying we should, you know, add kanji or recycle kanji even. Um, I'll leave that up to parents when they name their children or shop owners when they name their stores. But kanji is just a big pain for everyone, even Japanese, and especially for foreigners. Well, I'll leave you guys um, with my favorite kanji. My favorite kanji is the kanji for mayu, and it's so it makes so much sense visually when you look at it and understand each individual part. At the top you have like grass, which can be associated with um, forestry and insects, stuff like that. And then you have an encasing around uh, the kanji, or the characters for thread, and the character for bug. This kanji, mayu, means cocoon cocoon love 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 this kanji it's a really intuitive makes sense character like it makes so much sense and i love kanji well sometimes i love kanji it's a love hate relationship anyways what are you guys thoughts on chinese characters in language like this let me know in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for future videos as well let me know those too okay guys peace